beware, you're in for a scare. <laughs> to meet the guy who said dogs are a man's best friend. Get away, leave me alone, dumb dogs. This isn't the first time this has happened either. Every time these mutts see me, they start chasing me like I have a pocket full of liver. It's humiliating. Hear me wheezing? It's because I have these stupid allergies. The doctor said no running. It's easy for him to say. He doesn't have a pack of slobbering hounds running after him all the time. I hope no one saw me. I must look like a real jerk. Well, I guess I should look at the bright side. Dogs can't climb trees. Try and get me now. So much for the bright side. <laughs> nice doggies. Go home, doggies. Go on. Let's get out of here. That's Lily, my best friend. Beat it. She's pretty cool, you know, for a girl. She always wears this gold coin around her neck. And she has the wickedest eyes. One is brown, and the other is blue. You okay? Yeah, thanks. I wish I knew what's up with those dogs. I don't know, Larry. Maybe they smell your fear. Gee, thanks. Like, I needed to hear that. Lily and I are in a rock band with our friends Jared and Manny. We practice in the garage of an empty house. It seems like there's a lot of empty houses in our neighborhood lately. The Duncans used to live here. They moved out so fast they didn't even bother to shut off the electricity. And believe me, if the Duncans would have heard our band, they would have moved out even faster. Song's over. Oh, hey, didn't we sound great? We sound terrible. What do you mean? Didn't you hear my keyboard solo? That was the problem. We did. <laughs> we were pretty bad, and we had an audition coming up next week for our first gig at some kid's birthday party. But then something happened, which made dogs, allergies, and lousy bands seem like small potatoes. Hey, check this out. Instant 10. Gives you an instant 10. Hey, cool. I'm gonna try some. Me too. Cool, we'll all be bronze gods for the audition. We can say we played a concert in Hawaii. You guys are stupid. You don't even know where that stuff came from. Harry Larry, King of the Wimps. Don't call me that. Which one, Harry Larry or King of the Wimps? With your blonde hair and a tan, you look great. Think? Definitely. All right. Hey, look at this. This stuff's old. It says caution, do not use after 1991. It, it does? Ah! My skin! Look, my skin! <sighs> Paper towel, psych. <laughs> You're gonna pay. Come on, come on, guys. We gotta practice. Back off. Back off. Back off. I know. Larry? You've been running again, haven't you, Larry? There. That didn't hurt, did it? Not at all. Why did he need another injection so soon? It wasn't due until next week. Well, you see, if he gets too overheated, it tends to aggravate his allergies. You mean it's getting worse? No need to panic yet. Let's just wait and see. In the meantime, you try to slow down a bit, fella. Jack.
Jasper. I think it was that instant tan that made me feel sick. But I can't tell Mom and Dad. They'd kill me if they knew I was using some old stuff I found in a garage. Stupid tanning lotion. I actually think I'm getting whiter. What's your problem? Done to myself. Larry, are you all right in there? Fine, no problem. Well, then get to bed. The doctor says you should rest. Mom, do we have any hair remover? Hair remover? Never mind. Larry? Mm. Are you almost done in there? Almost. Mm. Well, could you just. Hand me out my razor. Can a guy get some privacy? Mm -hmm. Jeez. Bite my head off. Mm -hmm. Lily! Hey, Lily! Wait up! Lily! Hey, I was gonna call you. You wanna have dinner at my house tonight? Are your parents gonna be there? Of course. I guess so. Listen, Lily, did hey, you... Hey, did you talk to Manny about today's practice? I thought you were gonna call him. He's not answering the phone. I called three times. I think we should stop by there. Sure. Hey, Lily, did you notice anything last night? Where you rubbed that instant tan on? I mean, like, uh, involving hair? Hair? What do you mean? I mean hair, you know, like, where you don't expect to see it. Are you growing some unexpected hair? No, are you? No, are you? No, I just thought maybe you... I what? Growing hair in weird places. Never mind. Harry Larry. Hair on his head, hair on his mind. Always worried about how he looks. Don't call me Harry Larry. I hate that. Don't get all sensitive. I was just joking. It was pretty embarrassing talking to a girl about body hair, even if she was my best friend. Maybe I could tell Manny. He used that instant tan stuff. Maybe he was having the same problem. Sitting here ringing this thing it doesn't even work. Manny? This is strange. It looks like they moved. Did he say anything to you? No, but you know Manny. Manny? Anyone? Larry, come here. That's weird. Wonder if his clothes are still here. for Manny? Manny who? Manny Hernandez. He lives here. Not anymore. This place is for sale. And I'm the one who's selling it. Now run along. Unless, of course, you've got enough money for a down payment. Then you can hang out all you like. No? Then get out of here. Later, at Lily's house, we talked about Manny's strange disappearance. Well, I don't know about strange. Maybe, uh... Manny's father was transferred. Uh, pass the corn there, Mr. Larry. You'd think he'd say goodbye. That's why would he leave all his stuff? Oh, thank you. We had an audition coming up and everything. Well, you know Manny. Pass that tuna loaf, please, Larry. Oh, is the dish too hot? Did you burn yourself? Let me see that hand. Uh, I'm fine. Worms, deadly. Fresh piece? Um, yeah. <gasps> Where's the bathroom? Oh. Are you okay, Larry? I'm fine. I told you. 
Tone off's no good after the third day. Doesn't anybody shave in this house? Larry? What's wrong? I'm fine. I'll be right there. Yeah, I was fine, all right. If you don't mind having arms like Bigfoot. I decided I'd better get out of here any way I could. But guess what? Those stupid dogs again. I couldn't believe it. Larry, what are you doing in there? Oh. Uh... Be right there. Um, what's for dessert? Dessert? Was that lame or what? We have a nice tapioca. Or some mint ice cream. Here were my choices. Total embarrassment or a pack of savage dogs. Larry, if this is about the third door, we've got plenty more. And tapioca. I hate tapioca. I couldn't face the embarrassment of the tapioca, so I jumped. The dogs took off after me, but I lost them. Then I raced home. I had to check and see if there was hair growing anywhere else. None on my chest. None on my back. And now... My legs. Ah! Larry, what happened? Look! Oh, Dan. I'm sorry to get you out of bed, Lyle. Oh, no problem at all. I. I knew I should have told you about the instant tan the first time I saw the hair. I was stupid. I never should have put it on. I don't think the tanning lotion had anything to do with it. Really? That's unlikely. If tanning lotion could grow hair, we'd have a cure for baldness. So what is causing it? Oh, it's probably some sort of skin irritation. It'll be gone before you know it. Could it be nerves, Doc? Yes, uh, Larry has a band audition coming up. Yes, 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 that's probably it. Um, uh, the nervous system can do incredible things under stress. I guess you just have to take it a little easier, right, Larry? I guess so. Thanks, Doc. Anytime. There was something weird about the way my parents and the doctor were acting. All I could hope was that the hair would be gone by morning. Jasper. Phew. Don't scare me like that. Oh, not again. Go away. Get. Get away. Go. Wait a minute. Come here. Come here, girl. Come here. It's just like lilies. Those eyes. Lily? Come here. Come here, girl. Come back. Hi, Mrs. Turnbull. Going on a trip? Is uh, Lily here? You must have the wrong house. There's no one here named Lily. But Lily lives here. Listen to what I'm telling you. There is no Lily. Forget about her. You'd better go. But Lily is... Go! Dad, something.
something weird's happening. I saw Lily. I think she's a dog. Oh, hi, Larry. Didn't you hear me? I was practice. You're not listening. I saw this dog. It had eyes just like Lily, and it was wearing Lily's gold coin. That's silly. Gold coins are not uncommon. And lots of dogs have different colored eyes. No, it's too weird. Her parents, they wouldn't even admit they knew anyone named Lily. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You must have misunderstood. I didn't misunderstand anything. Larry. I know what I heard. I know what I saw. It's that instant tan. It has to be. Dr. Merkin's hiding something, isn't he? How about some roast beef? I don't want food. I want answers. Larry, don't run! Watch out for cars! I couldn't believe it. I felt like I was going crazy. What were my mom and dad hiding? Could Lily really be a dog? I felt so mixed up. I wanted Lily back and Manny. I felt so alone. It didn't make any sense, but I kept thinking it had something to do with that instant tan. I wasn't sure exactly what. I put that stuff on my face. Maybe it was seeping through my pores, affecting my brain. I went to the garage where our band practiced. I wanted to talk to Jared. Maybe he could help me find that lotion, get it tested, figure some way out of this mess. It's about time. I was so freaked out I'd forgotten about the audition. And that's when I saw the dog. Jared? It sounded like him. Could it be? Suddenly the little kid ran to his father like he was scared of me or something. Then I saw why. The hair, it was back. What's wrong? What's happening to me? Mom! Dad! Come on in here, Larry. We're sorry, Larry. We really wanted it to work out. Want a cookie? Oh. Hey. Hello! Get a clue? How about a steak? Oh. Dr. Merkin said his appetite might be affected. Oh. Poor Larry. He's had a hard day. <laughs> Yummy, yummy. Ah, uh, I guess it's better than nothing. And a boy. Now this seems familiar. Well, Mom and Dad, the Boyds, explained to me what happened. Excuse me, I like to snack. Hey guys, anyway, Mr. and Mrs. Boyd came here to be part of Dr. Merkin's project. He learned how to turn dogs into humans. That's why I got those shots every two weeks. But I'm back to my old self now. Lily, Manny, and Jared come over all the time. We have fun, chasing cars, barking at strangers, scratching in public, all the cool stuff you don't get to do when you're human. Uh-oh, you know that car? It's Dr. Merkin. What's he doing here? What's he doing here? It's okay, Larry. Dr. Perkin isn't here to see you. That's right. I'm through with dogs. Oh, look. She's smiling. What a good little girl. Yes, you are. You're a good little girl. Welcome to your new home, Jasper. Jasper? The cat? My Jasper? Come on in. Here we go again.
Thank you.